What's needed at Manchester United? Stability? Continuity? Well, they've invited in a whirlwind. It's now Jose Mourinho's club to manage. Old Trafford first felt his impact in 2004 when Mourinho's Porto defeated Ferguson's United. Mourinho's been hugely successful, but his management comes with consequences. By the time he was done at Chelsea last year, it seemed he'd fallen out with almost everybody. Palpable discord, as Chelsea put it. So, has Mourinho still got it? Mourinho is a fantastic manager, so everyone knows him. Uh, he knows really well the Premier League. Uh, and I think it will be a fantastic sign for, for Manchester United to improve and to be better than the last two years. Well, one of Jose Mourinho's first tasks is to restore the aura here. If anything, in recent years, Old Trafford has been too welcoming. As for Mourinho himself, well, he'll be reunited with one of his bitterest rivals here in Manchester. Mourinho and Pep Guardiola simmered as opposing managers at Real Madrid and Barcelona. Now they're in charge of Manchester United and Manchester City, both chasing the same glory. Winning the FA Cup for United was not enough to save Louis van Gaal. He does leave a legacy of young players. Nurturing Marcus Rashford is the kind of task Mourinho's never really excelled at. A lot of money for him, there'll be four or five big players they want and he'll need to improve the squad as well because I think the players that are there, there's a, there's a lot of ability but they seem to have lost confidence and hopefully he can instill a bit of that confidence back. And the Premier League has changed. Which team is best in England? Manchester. No, Leicester now. <laughs> Champion of England. <laughs> there's been a revolution in the Premier League since Mourinho last won it. His last game, he lost to Leicester City. Joe Wilson, BBC News, Old Trafford.